Hey, what's going on, everybody? Well, today, nothing new yet, at least. Um, Andrew Reynolds, man. I think I've mentioned Andrew Reynolds in a couple of other videos. I still have these right here, man, the uh, G6 Reynolds. And, of course, when he was with Vans that short time, I actually got the uh, Vans Reynolds. Just, I love the color, you know, that golden brown colorway. And uh, out of the three, which was, I think, the Skate High, the Old School, and the Half Cab, I just like the Half Cab better. So these have been worn, this one, a lot less than this one. Of course, I've worn this one a lot more. Um, again, like I said, man, usually with Volk, I'll go to size nine, but it just depends how, how I'm feeling in all honesty. Some of them, like, uh, what other Volk shoes that I have recently that I've gotten? The Genoskis. No, actually, I went with the size nine and the Genoskis. No, I think, yeah. For the most part, I've been going about like half a size down because you can. It just depends how you like your fit and all that. You can go true to size. You should be fine. Um, these are nine and a half, of course, right here. Uh, I don't remember when I bought these. In all honesty, I might have bought them new. I think the receipt. I think I still have the receipt in there, and I think they were on sale. So it must have been maybe when Reynolds was transitioning now, but I doubt it because if I remember correctly, the. Uh, reissue of the threes were out which i didn't get now i really regret it and uh, the reason i bought these is because to me these seem to be like his reynolds one and the twos sort of combined together and in all honesty those are like my favorite reynolds shoes probably one of my top favorite shoes on top of that um but yeah dude it's like your half cab if you guys ever had a half cab before it's a really great shoe in all honesty. These are, I believe, modeled after the 92 half cabs. Just has this little Reynolds patch up there. Inside it did say, you know, Vans Skateboarding Reynolds and it has like the little plaid in there, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, the color golden brown, really nice. So it's a mixture of suede and canvas on this one right here. Heel portion is suede where you're I stays eyelids are at suede. This is suede. The little toe box is canvas and all the middle parts here on the midsection plus the uh, heel. The collar is canvas. You have this little checkers board vans right there. Just the reverse of like what I've showed with the uh, Rowleys right there. Basic waffle trip pattern, Volk, black foxing red pro label on these right here i haven't worn these a lot i don't know why i think it's because he went over to uh well i don't think he had a shoe company when he left and then he went over to vans and i think cater and his daughter were already in vans at that point i don't know they had anything to do with that but you know i really would want him to come back to america but we uh, you know He's on New Balance at the moment because I want the reissue of his first shoe. Like, probably like my number one hopes for a reissue is his first, his first shoe, Reynolds. So this has a G6 foam right there poking through there. So it is a cup sole. I think he skated cup soles for quite a bit of time on um, America after the uh, threes, I believe. Then you had the Reynolds highs, and then he came out with the lows, and he started with uh, well, went back to cup sole. Reynolds America, sort of had a tongue, especially for this time. Not super, super thin, but there's a little bit of padding in there. Collar is also a little bit padded. The feel of these, I don't remember in all honesty, guys. It's been a, quite some time since I've worn these. Um, don't know if I will wear them. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But again, um, this is reminiscent of the twos the way the eyelets are that I remember. I believe I had two pairs of the twos, both in the black and white colorway. And I believe one of them had like contrast stitching, so it was like a later colorway or whatnot. But this just reminds me of the two so much. I guess it's the reason I bought it. This little portion, I think both the two, no, actually, I'm trying to remember. I think both the two and one had this little portion right here where the little E for America is at. The golden eyelet here, I believe the bling blings and the twos in this colorway had them like that too but that is one of the main reasons i got this when it came out because it just reminded me of the two so much i 
didn't have the bling blings it was again i think i've mentioned that on other videos the the graphics department man it really just it, it really matters how you guys take a photo you know because i just remember I believe at that time it was ccs and it's just funny how it happened i think i wanted the the first bams that came out the bams from you know audio the like royal blue or like that blue and black color way they didn't have it in my size and my second choice was the reynolds but at that point i think it was just the all black the navy with the yellow gold colorway and the bling blings and just the way they looked like in the picture they did not look like cool or anything like that when it came down to the brown with the gum and i didn't want an all black shoe so i went with the navy gold which was still a great colorway and i still love the way that shoe looks like just the way it looks on foot the silhouette of the reynolds one is like it's still one of my favorite shoes every time i see it i was just watching uh, this is skateboarding and then uh, Baker bootleg and of course he's wearing the Reynolds one and the two is on Baker bootleg just love the way the shoe looks so I hope they reissue it but yeah you know so I get those shoes and then of course you know high school somebody's gonna have them school somebody's gonna have them somebody came in with the bling blings dude and they just looked really good like in person and I just remember dude was wearing like these black jeans this the start of the skinny jeans that I remember which was really early 2000s um those who were brave enough to wear them in all honesty i was one of those <laughs> but it they just look so cool man and brown and i instantly regretted not getting the bling blings never got the chance and uh i had the reynolds boss which was supposed to be like a re, -re doing of the first reynolds which they weren't that's why a little bit disappointed in those and i got these in brown of course the reynolds 2 in brown look pretty cool too i just didn't buy them but yeah enough of the ranting man or reminiscing america dude still one of my favorite brands and i've mentioned it before etnies america s same company soul tech um vans of course you guys know dude it's like especially with the rally xlts being now which i am wearing my rally xlts at the moment um yeah so newest stuff coming out nothing that i could think of that i'm excited for might go for the what are they calling this 182s i believe it's the basically costing twos i've never had a pair there is a certain colorway i hope they bring them out in which is like that navy white colorway that i just think that colorway looks so cool um i did get a second pair of the arto xls because uh just yesterday before going into work i caught a glimpse of like arto holding the shoes and i had to go through everything to see what it was and it was apparently s skateboarding i think they still have sizes left uh signed arto xl shoes and a uh, collector's edition of like a montage of like his skateboarding like the insoles of the xls a skateboard which i tried to get but they were sold out when i went to uh, like flip skateboards i don't know if anybody else got them but flip um but i did get a pair of those signed xls so that i will do a quick video on because we've already talked about the xls our toes but it'd be pretty cool to show you the signed pair um but until then this is just a little bit of reynolds you know uh and again hopefully they actually do reissue these reynolds ones hopefully even if it's like the mark johnson's we all know they're mark johnson's but they're called the og ones now um hopefully they do that and until next time people i'll catch you guys later